Hello children, I welcome you all once again to your English class. I hope you all are doing great. So children, for today's English lesson, we are going to continue with the seventh chapter from your honeycomb book. And this chapter is the invention of Rita Walk. In our previous video lesson, we have already finished the explanation of the text. We have learned about a scientist called Mr. Willy Wonka and how he invented a tonic, how he invented a medicine for people uh, to grow older. Okay. So now in this video lesson, we are going to write the question answers that we actually solve the exercises from your book. There is this comprehension check on page number 101 that we are going to attempt first. It's in your book and let's see uh, how much we can finish in this chapter. I guess we will be completing this working with language and working with text part as well. So now let's get started. So this comprehension check is on page number 101. Okay. Choose the right answer. Number one, Mr. Willy Wonka is what? A cook, an inventor, a manager. So quite an easy option, right? So you can just write that he is an inventor. Just mark that one if that's possible in your book only. Number one. Two. Wonka White makes people what? Older, younger. So children, it makes people younger. Wonka White we are talking about. So Wonka White makes people younger. Number three. Mr. Wonka wants to invent a new thing which will make people older. Yes. Number two. Can anyone age be a minus number? What does minus 87 mean? Okay. Now, uh, no. Uh, see children, obvious, uh, there's obvious reason. How can you uh, age in reverse, right? How can you go back to your age? Like negative? No. Right? So, no, I don't think so. Minus, no. I don't think so. Minus 87 means, minus 87 means, that the man became Eighty seven years back, to his age, that means from obviously birth, right? How is that possible? So, no, now number three, Mr. Wonka begins by asking himself two questions What are they? What is dash? What leaves dash? Okay. So, first one, what is? First question he asked was, what is the oldest living thing? In the world. Number two, what leave what leaves longer than anything else? Okay, 
So these were the two questions. This portion you have to fill in the blank. That's there. Now children, with this we have finished the comprehension check of the chapter. Now we can move ahead with working with the text. Page 102. Now what trees does Mr. Monka mention? Which tree does he say leaves the longest? Okay children, first you please copy this one. Now let uh, writing the first answer from working with the text. One's first answer. Mr. Wonka, so many, um, Mr. Wonka mentions, Mr. Wonka mentions so many kinds of trees. Mention kinds of trees. Oak, oak, deodor, and fir. However, the bristle cone, however, the bristle cone. Lives the silicone pine, okay? Pine lives the longest. Now, number two, second answer of number one only. This tree leaves for 4000 years. This tree lives for 4,000 years. We can find it on Willows Park. We can find it in Willows Park. Well, is pick. P -E -A -K, pick. In Nevada, you will see. Nevada, yes. Okay, children. So, this is your first answer in two parts. Okay, first and second. So, Mr. Wonka. Number two now, let's see what has been asked in number two. Uh, how many of the oldest living things can you remember for Mr. Wonka's list? Okay, so yes, you are instructed not to look back in the story. Do you think all these things really exist or are some of them purely imaginary? Okay. Now, Mr. Wonka. refers to refers to purely imaginary old things purely imaginary old things collected from a Russian farmer collected from a Russian farmer a tortoise a horse a tortoise a horse
a flea and a rat. Okay, now number three. Third question is, why does Mr. Wong collect items from the oldest things? Do you think this is the right way to begin his invention? So, what do you feel you can say? Now, Mr. Wonka collects items from very old things because because he thinks drugs prepared from them drug prepared from them will make the user older. Older. Okay. But it is foolish dream exactly. But it is a foolish. But it is a foolish. dream exactly not the right way to begin an invention not the right way to begin Okay, children, so we are done with one, two, and three. Number four now. What happens to the volunteer who swallows food drop of the new invention? What is the name of the invention? The person who drinks who drinks Just four drops of Wonka new of Wonka Wonka's new drug suddenly grows very old. Rose, very old. His hair and it start to his hair and teeth. Start to start falling. His skin starts drawing up. His skin starts drawing up. And wrinkling. Wrinkling. A 20 year old person looks 75. A 20 year old person look looks 70. Ok. 
everything children now we can move ahead with working with language part it's on page 103 now what do you call these insects in your language how do these insects affect your health have a discussion in the class so yes children in our in our online video lesson we're just going to uh, see these insects but in our offline classes we are going to discuss it uh, in detail in the classroom only so see children this is a cockroach this is a mosquito this is a grasshopper then we have uh, below this cockroach we have housefly and then in the center in the in the second row we have dragonfly and then in the last we have ant. okay now uh, in Hindi maybe you can have other as well so you can just write it what is it is, is called in your language so if your native language is Hindi you can use that Nepali any language you use okay you need to tell me exactly in your language okay now fill in the blanks in the recipe below with words from the box so there is this okay now we will learn to make what palak dal now we have this um, words given shred shred cooker times tomatoes half and then we have this onion and all one what one we need what one dash okay so one tomato tomatoes is there so one onion we can write because for singular we need to write onion only so this is working with language part number two one what one onion one onion one cup dal is already written two thin green chilies dash a teaspoon red chili powder half a teaspoon okay half a teaspoon so you have to write half uh, then eight small bunches of palak palak is your spinach okay children spinach is your palak then a uh, two dash two tomatoes here you will have two tomatoes two tomatoes okay now uh, salt to taste wash and cut the vegetables okay here wash and cut the vegetables dash the palak what do we have to do we have to shred the palak shredding means children what shred the palak shredding means cutting into small small pieces and actually chopping it's kind of chopping action but not in uniform way shred okay shred the palak put everything in a pressure cooker so after pressure you will be using cooker pressure cooker let the cooker whistle three times so we need three times whistling is required so three times it will whistle then switch it off fry a few cumin seeds in dash okay so cumin is your jeera in dash okay so we have to fry it in oil in oil so fry it in oil and add to the palak dal. So yes, see children, we have learned how to how to make palak dal. Yes, so yes, English is helping us learn quick recipes also. Now, uh, see here, a family tree is a diagram that shows the relationship between different family members. Yes, when you were a kid, you might have done this. Okay, so now... Um, Fill in the family tree below with name, ages and other details you think are relevant. You may even attach, attach or stick pay, uh, photographs. If you have them, put your family trees up in the class. Okay, children. So this is an activity we can do. You have to make this. Can, I hope you can see this. You will have to make a family tree like this. And this will help you uh, actually with ages and with your... Uh, relationship with them you can uh, arrange it and also stick pictures 
So with this children, with this information you have to collect yourself. I cannot help you with it. And we have the speaking on page number 105. That also you are going to do. And we are going to do that in class only. That would be better because I can help you here. Now, here in writing part, make a list of the trees, Mr. Wonka mentions. Where do, do these trees grow? Okay, all the trees you have to find, children. And where do they grow? Name some large trees commonly found in your area. Find out something about them. How old are they? Who planted them? Do words eat their fruit? And write two of the three sentences about each one of them. So this will be your project assignment, okay? I will be giving you not to worry. Then uh, for this video lesson, we are done till here only. We will meet again in your next uh, class. So children, bye-bye uh, and take care of yourself and your family.